All right, so I just got done reading the dev update for Dead by Daylight's next PTB, and uh, I'm a little upset. For the most part, there were a lot of like super good changes, and there were also a lot of not super good changes. And uh, yeah, let's just get to the elephant in the room. They're changing unknown. What are they doing to unknown? Okay, they're gonna give you an indicator for your teleport cooldown and the spawn time of your hallucination. That's cool. I don't really think he needed that, but it won't hurt, I guess. They made it so his movement speed decreases sooner when you start charging your power. All right, this is the elephant or the UVX in the room. All right, why is this a problem? <laughs> if you don't know, most people know this, but you can right click and you can actually tap your power as many times as you want without slowing down. And this lets you delay the spawn of your hallucination. So this is a pretty cool tech. It doesn't really do much. It just lets you, I guess, spawn the hallucinations a little bit more freely. Not completely freely, but a little bit more freely. And this also gives you the option to make split second decisions mid chase. And if you don't know what I mean, I mean that when you're looking at someone and you're chasing them, you could say, tap your power. And then if they make a play where you think, I don't want to actually use my power yet and I need to catch up, you could just cancel your power by since you just tapped it. And uh, yeah, they're removing this. Why? <laughs> I don't know, dude. They basically said that tapping can postpone a hallucination from spawning, but to a survivor, it appears as if you're about to launch UVX, which forces the survivors to constantly dodge and lose distance without slowing down the killer. I will say right now, I completely and 100% disagree with this statement. And I'll tell you why, because when you charge your power as unknown, first of all, it makes a sound effect. It also slows you down and it makes a completely visual animation. There's an auditory sound and a visual animation. And you can also see that the unknown is slowed down when he can fire at you. So to say that faking or tapping and feathering the power mid chase can confuse survivors, it'll only confuse people who don't know how the killer works, which why are we catering to newer players? That doesn't make sense to me. So not only are we nerfing, you know, feathering the power to delay hallucination spawns, we're also lowering the lethality of his chase because instead of like having that opportunity to make these last second decisions, oh, I want to let go of my M2 so I can catch up and then use it later, you know? Now you can't do that. So this, just like the flashlight click nerf that Behavior did, it's probably been over a year now. I can't even believe it. This just removes all of the intuitiveness and mechanical freedom that this killer had. And I want to say it, like, this isn't, like, Unknown isn't the Huntress, you know? Like, here's the difference between Huntress and Unknown. Unknown, you have to hit people more than three times, at least, for the most part, given you're not running any add-ons, and you have a very slow cooldown. You can't fire nearly as fast as Huntress. You also can't fire nearly as far as Huntress, and you have to weaken the survivor to even injure them. So I don't understand why being able to fake, not even fake, because it doesn't fake. I don't understand why making it so tapping M2 instantly slows you down just like the Huntress is a good idea. This will make Unknown feel extremely clunky. And like, I think I'm like the only person who's saying this. A large majority of the people I've seen who've been reacting to these changes have basically said, okay, Look, I'm gonna say it as an unknown player, dude, like this is not a good change. And no one asked for this. And I can guarantee you a large majority of like the really good players who like enjoy going against unknown have never, never complained about this. There are things to complain about, but this is not it. Why are we nerfing unknown? Why? You know, I just, I, I don't understand, dude. What is the plan here? That's great, you know, whatever, dude. I'm upset about that in particular. But every other change is awesome, you know? Great, we're getting new UI for the teleport cooldown. The teleport recovery speed base kit is faster. So it's, I don't think it's up to blurry photo level, but it will be faster. So I'd say it's probably about half or maybe a little bit more blurry photo. So teleporting will be faster, which is great, awesome. I don't even like running blurry photo, so I will really like having a faster teleport that's gonna be awesome and then blurry photo and vanishing box were adjusted which is fine blurry photo was just toned down a bit to compensate because they increased the speed of his teleport base kit and vanishing box 
actually adds a trade-off now where it increases the hallucination spawn time. So you know how it takes about 45 seconds if no survivors are weakened? Now I believe it'll take, let's say, like a minute. But you also have to recognize that the more survivors weakened, the shorter the teleport respawn time is. So if you can keep survivors weakened with Vanishing Box, you might not get the exact same amount of time, but you will still be able to get a good amount of value of this add-on. I don't think this is like a bad nerf. I think it's fair. And I'm kind of glad they did this instead of just changing the add-on entirely. So yeah, Vanishing Box just has that little trade-off where it's harder to spawn hallucinations. For the most part, it will be fine. But if you're going against good survivors who know how to dispel your hallucinations and follow you around, you might have a bit of trouble with it. But either way, I'd say this is a pretty fair trade-off and this is exactly what I wanted from this add-on. And I'll probably still be using it. And then they also improved the video and sound effects when using the power. This doesn't affect balance, but it will make it clearer to newer unknowns that hitting a survivor with the blast is how you apply weekend and not airborne hits. Which is interesting, I wonder what that's gonna look like. But uh, yeah, that's it. They're basically changing unknown and uh, I'm pretty upset. I'm, I'm extremely upset about the movement speed decrease when you charge your power. I think that's like unnecessary. And I really hope that behavior reconsiders it. Every other change for the unknown is awesome. Such a good, like, great, great. It's all quality of life. It's good. They fix, they tone down some of the little obnoxious parts that some people were a little upset with. But the movement speed is just unnecessary. Like, genuinely, it is unnecessary. But uh, yeah, that's it. Behavior, please fix.